Welcome into the latest edition of Rosser's Rants. Well, the NFL season has somewhat officially kicked off. Uh, the Ravens took on the Bears in the first preseason game for the entire league at the Hall of Fame game last night. And among other rule changes that were brought into the league this year, the big one that caused the largest stir with both the crowd, the players, and commentators alike was the NFL's new helmet rule. Now, for a very basic summary, it sort of adopts the rules that college football has put into place over the last several seasons, wherein any unnecessary contact to the head or neck area while leading with the helmet will result in a 15-yard penalty, and the, uh, uh, the offending player that makes the hit, regardless of whether they're on offense or defense, will be ejected from the game. Now, I'm all for player safety, and I know football is the most, if not one of the most dangerous sports there is. Head injuries are a part of the game for good reason. Uh, it's 200, 250-pound guys just going at each other, fighting for every single inch, no matter what. And you're trying to tell these guys that in a split second, if they tilt their head up or down the wrong way, to react to the impact of an opposing player, they can get kicked out of the game. You know how much revenue alone from sponsors that could lose? If you're potentially talking about suspending players too, if they pile up multiple quote-unquote illegal hits, it would be astronomical. The game of football is changing at a rapid pace to protect the players, is what Roger Goodell says, but... I just don't see how this one protects the players. It harms them more than anything else. Because you're forcing defenders to go low more often than not. And yes, concussions are a big part of football. I barely played any in my life, and I have several to prove it. But a concussion is much different than having your entire knee blown to shreds on one play. Just because the higher-ups in New York don't want head hits. Because it doesn't look good for the advertisers. It, it, it's the most ridiculous thing that I've heard since the kickoff rule. And, and since the, the lack of protection for players who actually do get concussions long-term. It, it, it just keeps piling up and piling up. And there are going to be alternatives to the NFL Sooner than you realize, the American Football League and the XFL are set to kick off within the next few years. Obviously, the level of talent for these teams will no be nowhere near even the Browns. But if you're really as fed up with the NFL rule changes as I have become over the last several years, then maybe it's time to give somebody else a shot. To ruin the NFL's monopoly over American football as we know it. To give players, coaches, fans uh, more options for the sport that they love. Because clearly, Roger Goodell and his minions don't really know what football is. Football is such a fast-paced game. You cannot, under the most reasonable circumstances, correct your direction mid-tackle to avoid that penalty. It's going to cause a lot of anger on both sides of the ball, in the stands, on the sidelines, even with the referees. It's going to slow down the game. It's going to force more reviews of, of pointless plays that probably will get overturned 90% of the time. And if they aren't overturned, chances are they'll probably be incorrect anyways with the lack of consistency that NFL officiating has had over the last several years. And not a damn thing, not a damn thing of substance has been done to change that. What is a tackle anymore? Uh, what, what is a legal tackle anymore? What is a clean hit? What... Uh, obviously, you look at footage of Night Train Lane back in the day tearing people's heads off with clotheslines. Yes, that's bad. But 
the line has to be drawn somewhere. That's the saying, right? There's, there's going to be a line that they cross eventually. Who's to say this isn't it? Who's to say that this isn't the beginning of the end of the sport as we know it? It'll still be football. We'll still cheer for the Browns. Uh, and you know we'll still hope, begging for a winning season. But will it be a sport that we recognize anymore? Five, 10, 15 years down the line? Will it be ultimately a positive change? Will it be negative? But long term, that's hard to say. Short term, there's only one real answer. A lot of headache in more ways than one. Go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat as well. Recently, uh, we've got shows on uh, Apple iTunes, uh, SoundCloud, uh, many other sources coming up wherever you can listen to us. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, See you next time.